Hey there, Elliot Volkman here with Play This Media, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to change some privacy settings on Facebook. As we all know, Facebook is uh, often creating new features for us, but unfortunately they always opt us in, so here are a few easy options to uh, quickly edit that. Um, so, for example, we're going to put people into different lists. Uh, that way we can hide different features and content from certain friends, and then we'll go into the basic privacy settings as well. Alright, so from here you can see my Facebook page is open. Um, first, what we'll want to do is create a friend group. So we'll hit account at the top right, select that, hit edit friends, and then you will have an option at the top of the next page which says create a list. Go there, and we will create a friend group called No Soup For You. Uh, for this example, I'll just make it a kind of coworker group where, let's say I'm complaining about work, I don't want them to see it, so I'm going to attach them to this. Uh, Alright, well that's good enough for this example. Uh, when you're done adding a few people, just hit create a list. Uh, you'll see it appear in the next window as well. You can then also add some additional people if you would like. Um, from here, you'll go again to account and then hit privacy settings. And this is where you're going to actually apply the various settings that apply to that group that you just created. Uh, so from here, hopefully you'll have custom already selected. Uh, unless you want a completely public profile, I would not select everyone. Um, but at the bottom of this, there's an option that says, let friends of people tagged in my photos posts see them. So basically what that does is allow any of your friends who are tagged in your photos publicly view your photos, even if you've changed that photo album to a private one. Uh, so I would go ahead and unselect that as well. Um, but below that, there's an option that says customize settings. You'll want to select that. From here, there are three different sections. There's things I share, things others share, and contact information. Uh, I'll just go into the first two just so you can't see any of my uh, personal address or anything like that. Uh, but basically what we have in things I share are things like your family, relationship, uh, interest in, just your basic profile information. Uh, so if we don't want people to see any of your family members, you'll select the option over to the right, it'll have a drop down and it'll say custom. So here's where you put in the various groups uh, that you don't want to see it. So right now I don't want uh, my coworkers to be able to see my friends or uh, my family members that I've listed. So I will start typing in no soup for you and there it goes. So they are now hidden from being able to see that information. You hit save settings and now when they access your profile, they won't be able to get that information. Uh, the same goes for any places you check into. So maybe you frequent a bar and you don't want people to see it. You'll want to change that setting as well. So again, you select the drop down at the right, hit custom, type in the group that you created and hit save settings. Now they won't be able to see specifically where you checked in. Uh, another public feature they have for when you check in with uh, Facebook places is the option where it says include me in people here now after I check in. So basically if you check in there and someone else is going to check into that area, they'll be able to see that you're publicly checked in there. So you can also uncheck or check that in. Uh, I don't personally use Facebook places very often, so I don't really mind it. Alright, as far as things others share, this is going to be uh, more information where you specifically probably want to change. Uh, you'll want to check the uh, photos and videos that you're tagged in. So if one of your friends at, or tags you to an album, maybe when you were at a party, uh, you want to go and check to make sure there's nothing in there that you don't want publicly available. Um, you can also select the various people who can comment on your posts. Uh, that'll include any status updates, friends wall posts, and photos. Uh, there's also the ability for people to post on your wall. Um, you can do uh, additional settings on your actual wall, um, but I'll get into that at a different time. 
And of course, there's the option to um, hide the wall from specific friends as well. So let's say you want to hide that uh, your entire wall from a specific group. You just put in that one that you just created into the hide from the, hide this from, and then you hit save settings. So now your coworkers or whoever you didn't want to see your wall can no longer access it. Um, another option is if you go to your profile, if you're going to actually create a status update, um, you don't have to block everyone from seeing your wall uh, completely. You can just have individual status updates that are hidden from people as well. So let's just say no soup for you is my status. You select the lock right next to the share button and again there's a drop down that comes up and it'll say custom. All right, and just like before, there's a option that says hide this from. You type in the group that you don't want to see it. You can also put in particular people just in case you don't want them to see it as well. Um, and you can also have the uh, different options of if you want it to be completely public or more private towards your friends listings. All right, again, you hit save settings. Hit share, and now it is locked. As you can see here, it'll give you specifically which people can and cannot see it.